Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Joey, and we're back! Today we're playing some Persona 3 Fizz. Um, I haven't played Persona 3 before. Oh, actually, sure. There we go. Um, I haven't played Persona 3 before. Um, let me do, I don't know. Watch the intro again, even though it's a sick intro. It's such a good intro. But we're gonna... I guess the journey? Oh, I guess there's just, uh, two parts to this game. Whatever. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, we're just gonna have some fun with it. Uh, start a new game. I haven't played Persona 3. I've played Persona 4. I've played Persona 5. You may begin the story of Persona 3 from here with new features. If you're playing Persona 3 for the first time, we recommend you start with this mode. Those who have already played the game can enjoy the new features that have been added. You want to know what has, was added? Sure. Several popular personas have been added, as well as a special social link. Interaction with other persona users, as well as the social links, have been enriched. Combat has also been enhanced with the optimal hard difficulty mode for an extra challenge. As well as a new weapon fusion, enabling you to create new weapons by fusing personas. There are many new requests that can be undertaken at the Velvet Room. Beyond these, there are other enhancements for experienced players to enjoy. Continue the game? Continue the game. Yes, I shall. Um, I think I'm gonna be doing a bit of voice acting. If you have saved data from Persona 3, some things that are... I don't know, uh, new, game, new Game Plus and stuff, yeah, I understand. I don't have a save file, so... Um, no. Yes. Right, here we go. I'm so ready for this. I love this music. The Velvet Room music. Uh, normal. Normal. I'm just gonna go with normal the entire way through. Going about it cannot be changed without restarting the game. Okay. Sure. I was gonna start on normal and then if I found it too easy, I'd go to hard later. But I heard this is probably like one of the harder Persona games. So, don't know how much of a good idea that would have been anyway. <laughs> Time never ways. It delivers all equally to the same end. You who wish to safeguard the future, however limited it may be, you will be given one year. Go forth and falter, without falter, with your hearts as your guide. Ooh, okay. Are 
Are you serious? You didn't know? <laughs> You're an idiot. You're late. I've been waiting a long time for you. Now if you want to proceed, please sign your name there. It's a contract. Don't worry. All it says is that you'll accept full responsibility for your actions. You know, the usual stuff. Something tells me that there's nothing usual about that contract, but there we go, we get introduced to like the main themes of the game. I'm just gonna go with Joey. Oh, that's last name, last name, last name. Um. Go with Wheeler for last name and Joey for first name. There we go. And um, but yeah, we see the main themes of this game where you call your persona, like you shoot yourself in the head to call your persona. Like this is just a s small things I know about this game. Like you shoot yourself in the head to call your persona, and the main character doesn't seem to give a shit about anything <laughs> like he's just kind of walking through all this blood and thing i don't know if he actually seen that or if that was just what we saw but we'll figure it out later i guess no one can escape time it delivers us all to the same end you can't plug your ears and cover your eyes And so it begins. Who's there? Talk about wait.
Damn, she a hottie. But why do they have guns? Guns are like super illegal in Japan, are they not? I didn't think you'd arrive so late. Hello, redhead. <laughs> My name is oh, it's actually voice acted. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. Is it okay for students this to have pistols? Yagiba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hey! Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna ask about the gun. I feel like that's that's a way that's a way to lose your head. <laughs> nice to meet you too. It's getting late, so you should get some rest. Your room's on the second floor at the end of the hallway. Your things should already be there. Okay. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. I thought she said I'll shoot you the way for a second there. It's like because I was reading a bit ahead, but. <laughs> Go walking down the hall, walking down the hall. Yeah, but it's very interesting how you summon your persona in this. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. Oh yeah, make sure you don't lose your key or you'll never hear the end of it. So, any questions? Contract huh? for, yeah. What contract? Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's um, uh, Igor's contract. Something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? Okay, I'm gonna assume that he didn't see all like the grave, the bleeding coffins looking yokes and like the blood everywhere, so. I see. Never mind then. Well, I better get going. Um. I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Yeah. Good night. I was gonna ask about the llama strapped to your waist, but like that's that's whatever, I guess. <laughs> I, was, I feel like if if I ask her, she's gonna cap me. Like you know, you know, you know. <laughs> it's Yukari. Are you awake? Good morning. Did you sleep okay? Oh, so you don't take your gun to school. That's nice. Mitsuru Senpai asked me to take you to school. It's getting late, so... Are you ready to go? Oh man, I could so get into this music. Okay, then let's go. Like, the music in this game sounds so sick. <laughs> so, that's it. See? There it is. Huh? I got it. Not much, man. Yo, ready for this? It's gonna be your wife. What a slacker. All I do is Good morning. Good morning. Well, this is it. We're here. Welcome to Gekukan High School. Hope you like it. Hey, oh, yeah. Isn't Gekukan the high school you go to in Persona 4 Golden Week? You're okay from here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Uh, which class are you in? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? You mean you, be, you being strapped? Okay, <laughs> I'll try. <laughs>
Two people standing in front of the bulletin board. Oh, class F. And where's the faculty office again? Set down here, to the left, down the hall to the left. Library. Nurse's office. Faculty office. Here we go. Enter. student yes miss 11th grade correct wow you've lived in a lot of different places let's see in 1999 that was what uh, 10 years ago your parents I'm sorry I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand I'm miss Toriyumi I teach composition welcome to our school or are his parents like that or something Nice to meet you. Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. Okay. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. Okay, I'll follow you. Let's go. As you begin the new school year, like each of you to remember the proverb if a job's worth doing it's worth doing well when applied to student life this means okay Psst. hey you came to school with Yukari this morning right I saw you two walking together okay hey I have a question do you know if she has a boyfriend? I don't know. I see. I thought you might know, but I guess not. So how well do you know her? I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. Oh, oh, sorry, miss. Like, he's like, suppose he expects me to know when I literally just moved there. Up, dude? Hello. How's it going? That was interesting. What's good? Me? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice Hello, to Junpei. How are you doing? I transferred here when I was in eighth grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I wanted to say, hey, <laughs> see what a nice guy I am? You seem nice. You remind me of, um... Hey, it's Yucatan. Dude from Haikyuu. I didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> At it again, huh? I swear you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? He's not bothering me, okay? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. Seems like a nice dude. Leave him alone. If you say so. Anyway, it looks like we're in the same homeroom. Hell yeah. It must be fate. <laughs> <laughs> Still, I'm a little surprised. Um, hello. Are you forgetting that I'm in this class too? Yeah, but I'm anyway, in the dorms. I heard so. you two came to school together this morning. What's up with that? Come on. Oh, shit. What are you talking about? We live in the same dorm. There's nothing going on, okay? Why are people even talking about it? Now you have me worried. Well, people, it's rumors. It's high school. It's what happens. You didn't say anything to anyone about, you know what, did you? You know what? Don't tell me you forgot already. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, all right? Okay, but your Junpei is listening, and so are those dudes up at the top of the classroom, like... What? L last night? W 
Wait a minute. Don't get the wrong idea. <laughs> Listen. I just met him yesterday, and there's absolutely nothing between us. Jeez. I've got to go. I've got something to take care of for the archery team. But you better not start any rumors. You need to chill. Like, they're starting rumors up there. I can tell. I can tell. Who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. Hell yeah. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man. Oh god. No, I'm gonna be hated by everyone. I know it. It's rough. Yes, Junpei. You're gonna be my homie. I bet you're the chariot persona. Junpei, Junpei seems like a pretty good dude. What does that say next to? Sign in sheet and the counter. Okay. Welcome back. I'm safe. Here we go. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Be outside in your own night, it's dangerous. Anyway, you must be tired, you should get a good night's rest. So can I actually just not leave? Okay. Sorry, but rules are rules. Okay. I know I can just like... Go back. That's after tripping me out because it was at a different angle last time, so it's like I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Didn't you see the newspaper? There's a lot going on. I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? The chairman will be here for the next few days, but after that, I can... Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. Who's them? Is he like a... A catchy sort of dude. In a game, Akihiko. Akihiko, okay. Wait, is he a detective? Because if he's a detective, then Persona 3, 4, and 5 both have. all have detectives that start with AK. Akeshi, Akashi, and Akihiko. <laughs> and two of them are students. Did you hear the rumor? Oh, um, something about a bathroom? No. Not that one, I mean the story about the first year student. Not only did he stop, did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at walls all day. If her mother tries to talk to her, she only mutters to herself, it's coming, it's coming. Hmm. How about that? You don't believe me? Her spell is wrong. Oh, the music in this game is boppy. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzu Ka Kaisai. Ugh, why him? I'd rather teach Utsubu Kotoba. Kubota. He became famous as a singer, but he has also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in his textbook. Well, I'll just bring Kubota's book next time. 
Hey, Junpei, were you listening? Who did I say was my favorite author? Uh, um, what is she like? Kubota. That's right, so you were listening to me after all. Uh, well, you know how I like to pay attention. Man, you saved my bacon, Joey. Hear the classmates whisper. Joey gave him the answer. He must pay attention in class. Became slightly more popular. Your charm has increased. <laughs> after school. I probably can't do anything after school. Until, like... I get my persona and stuff like that, I'd assume. Since classes have ended for the day, you decide to go back to your dorms. I thought that was Junpei that just went into the store with that dude. Strip mall is lively in the evening. Oh. So, this is our new guest. Hello, sophisticated gentleman. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm Ikutsuki. The of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? I think That's I just said I it right, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. Ikutsuki. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? And... Who else lives here? There were only four students in this dorm. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanada. I hope you all get along. I'm sure we will. Any other questions? Don't know about Akihiko though. Eh, no, I'm good. Then I hope you have a successful school year. I don't want to ask anything untoward. Cause you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the pun. <laughs> Whatever, okay. <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. Will I really? Do I have to? Oh. Working hard? Are they watching me in bed? So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. Is he trying to see if I'm the wild card?
Okay. Hmm. He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. Well, I, it didn't happen yesterday. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Oh. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He's asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Her persona. He must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. So scary. Oh, so I guess the shadows they come out in the real world. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I was wondering, I thought I feel kind of bad though, spying on him like this. I thought it was weird that they were watching me in my sleep. <laughs> I don't see that there's going to be much I can cut out of this, but... Welcome to the Velvet Room, my dear young man. Between mind and matter. <laughs> I can't remember it. It's... He'll say it now. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Interesting that the pleased to meet you. Interesting that the velvet room looks to be an elevator this time. This place exists between dream and reality, mind, mind and matter. matter. It's been years since we've had a guest. Documents you signed at the door. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return. Okay. That you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, I understand. Hold on to this. Elvic key. Till we meet again. Hell yeah. No, I don't see many places, as I was saying, where I can cut this or edit shit out. So these these might be long episodes and, like, a full-on series. It's like you had a strange dream. However, it's time to go to school. Why is that full? Why does that say full? Oh, oh. Can't really point to it. I guess my camera will be this side, so God, over there in the corner. When the early morning, it says full. Does it mean it's a full moon tonight? Eyes blue, we're young and more. Could we, what more could we ask for? You're full of energy. Of course, dude, listen to this. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to say anything. Sorry, man. <laughs> Interesting. So, I, I'm gonna assume that means it's a full moon tonight. <clears throat> Mr. Ikoda, I'll be te I'm Mr. Ikoda, I'll be teaching you classic literature. I'll be teaching you about good old Japan all you. Some people say classic lit isn't relevant in it to everyday life, but oh, oh they're wrong. The students, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic literature. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes. Stay awake. Uh, are you listening to me? Wake up, children. Now open your textbooks. 
first of all uh, on our syllabus is Issei Monogatari, the origin of Japanese literature. It is very interesting story, you youngsters might call it the bomb. <sighs> I can tell you people are zoning out. Stay up and listen to the lecture. Your academics has increased. Heck yeah. You decided to go home with Jinpei. So I guess it's just showing me around all the places I can go. I don't know if this is just another part of the strip mall or whatever. Ah, oh, that is the train station. The station is busting with students on their way home. Okay. It's just gonna put me right to the midnight again. Dark area. Wait, do all students come to this dorm if they transfer in? How is he? The same as last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. But this subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard he's your classmate. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? Yeah, I guess. But still. Do they still have the power to use Persona? Command room. Is that why they had guns? Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? That's... Mr. Chairman. I don't know if that's a good idea. For now. We'll prepare for battle. All right. Be careful. I want to at least get my persona first before I end this first episode. Senpai! I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Kidding me. That sounded big. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takima, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! Ha I'm going. Yukari, you should just bring me down to fight. No, no problems. I'll pull out, like, my, I think my persona's Orpheus. I could be wrong. You hear a commotion down the hall. Decide to go take a look. Wake, Wake up. Sorry, I'm coming in. I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now. Okay. Hurry downstairs. We'll lead through the back door. Wait. Take this, just in case. Short sword. Okay, let I thought. I just see. I've only seen pictures and stuff. I thought he had a rapier. Be 
There's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. Oh, well, damn. Shit is going down right now. What are we going to do? They're downstairs. Do we have any choice but to go further up? Whoa, whoa. What are we going to do? Seems like it's going to be over soon. Downstairs, they're fine, right? I think it maybe jump out the window. Over here, please. Um. Uh... Oh, we're going further upstairs. Further upstairs. Okay. Getting closer, okay. Keep moving, hurry. Alright, let go. Let go, my ego. Yeah, if we go to out there. Something out here, isn't there? What? Yeah, I had a feeling that we'll climb this side. Right, here we go. <laughs> Is that Orpheus or Tartarus? That's Orpheus, yeah. What?
Excuse me! I have to change the thumbnail now. <laughs> Because I made the thumbnail thinking that was just going to be Orpheus. Since well of power has subsided, Orpheus regained its original form. You've obtained a new persona. Is it over? <laughs> okay, let's go. The studio she Oh this battle music That's that's sick. That's so cool. I have to admit that's really cool. <laughs> Music in this game is so sick. Oh, so we only have three uh, things. We have aca academics, charm, and courage, rather than five. Inside has changed. Orpheus is leveled up. Oh, Orpheus is a fire persona? Okay. Are you okay? Well, no, I just passed out. Come on. Say something. Are you all right? Can you hear me? Please. Answer me. Well, dang. That's pretty sick the way Tardros just. Thanatos? Was it Thanatos? Or... It's so nice I think it's Thanatos. You. Just came out of Orpheus, just like... <laughs> you became unconscious after awakening to your power. It's nothing to worry about, though. So just relax. By the way, I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. Okay, but Igor, you realize that it wasn't just Orpheus. It may take some time to fully comprehend. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. That being said, your power is still weak. Yeah. You lost me. When you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. Okay. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please yeah, okay. Remember that. Now, I assume I'm the wild card, right? Like, I assume I'm the wild card like in any I other Persona game. On in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Because only the wild card can come into the Velvet Room. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. That was, I was what? That was something. <laughs> Your mind is getting clearer. You wonder how long you've been asleep. You feel someone's presence beside you.
Ryan Hospital. You're awake. Um, uh, how do you feel? Oh, I like it. Where am I? Thank goodness you finally came to. How much sleep do you need? It's been a whole week. Holy shit. I was so worried about you. Oh, yeah. This is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. But you kept sleeping and sleeping. You know how worried I was? You don't even know me, but thank you. I appreciate it. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Even though I was supposed to protect you, I... But your power... It was amazing. Uh, what were those things? You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And the power you used, we call it Persona. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't Don't talk. worry, I already, I already got explained what a Persona is. I, uh... I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. I thought she said I sort of like you, and I was like, you know me all of one day. <laughs> My dad died in an accident when I was little. Ah. Okay. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? It's to be rough. honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. The same year. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. And you think it he was... was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. It would make so, sense if it was... I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough... Like I'll shadows or whatever. Something. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them, too. I'm sorry. Okay. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. Hey, at least I have... Not your fault. Thanks. Uh, because I, I feel like I was, I'd be a dick if I said I was scared, too, so... But then, I, but then she'd be like, am, but you still did something. <laughs> wake up. While I was waiting... I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So, well, damn. thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. No problem, girl. All right, I'm going to get going. I'll let the others know you woke up. Hells Be yeah. Easy, okay? Be a good patient. I'll try. And don't hesitate to call the nurse. I'm sure she'll take good care of you. Bye. Bye. -bye. All right. So next time I get to a save point, I think I'm gonna. Dang. Go back to school. Hey, what's good? Morning. You seem to be doing pretty well. Yeah, I'm alright. That's good. Hey, sorry to hit you with this first thing in the morning, but... Ikutsuki-san wants to talk to you today. Come to the fourth floor of the dorm after school, okay? Don't forget. Fourth floor. Right. Um... Yeah, because it says half moon there and it's thing, so okay. That's enough about mammoths. I don't see a big deal. They're just huge elephants. And what wraps it up for the Stone Age? And that wraps it up for the Stone Age. I'm tired of lessons about stones. I'd rather talk about Sengoku or Japanese history is not that exciting until then. Though, I'm paid to do this, so I've got to... It's tough being an adult. Oh. He's, he's like the teacher in Persona 4 that wears all the sh weird shit. Next is the Jamon period. The Jamon period. When do the samurai get their day in the sun? 
People just ask the questions at random and call it a day. Hey, Junpei. What was the style of houses in the Jamon period called? Oh god, um... Way back then... What the heck is he talking about? Not caves. Is it those elevated houses that are on like the stilts and then they have like the paper doors and stuff, maybe? That was the wrong answer, he really doesn't care. The answer you gave to him was wrong. Oops, sorry dude! <laughs> I guess it was mud huts. How was I supposed to know? He didn't teach us that. That didn't teach me that. <laughs> Seems you'll be discussing something important at the dorms today. I decided to go home early. Unless he was saying that and I just completely just passed straight through my mind. Which is also a possibility. Everything is filled with people coming and going. No one in the lounge. You're about to go to the fourth floor. I will save. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um, going for about an hour now. Um, but yeah. Well, I'll see you again tomorrow's episode. I hope everyone has a wonderful day, wonderful night, wonderful evening, whatever, whatever time you're watching this. And I'll see you in the